Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the 50 random facts about me tag. Um, I asked in my last video what you guys wanted to see and this was one of the requests that was in the bottom bar so I thought I would get on it and film it. Um, of course, you can tell right off the bat my voice is crazy and I swear it's still me. I'm just losing my voice and my mind. But I'm losing my voice and um, I'm getting better slowly but surely. So let's get into these 50 random facts, shall we? I'm just going to wing it. So bullet, you're too fat to fit in there. My dog is crazy. Let's get started. Fact number one, I am an only child by blood, but I have two little brothers that my dad took on um, at an early age, and yeah, so I am by blood an only child, but by love, I have two little brothers. I do not have any kids, but I do have four kids that have four legs, so I have four dogs that I love very much. Or at 90 days old, when I was born, I was born actually not in my town they live in. I was born in Sacramento, California, and and uh, I had to have open heart surgery. I'll insert a picture here. So I had to have open heart surgery, and um, my parents, it's kind of a long story. If you want to hear that, then like this video or let me know in the comments, and I will tell you a little bit more about that. So at 90 days old, I had open heart surgery. I got married at 24 years old. I met my husband in 2006, and it's pretty crazy how you meet someone and then they end up playing a big part in your life and you didn't even know it. So, yeah. Growing up, it was really hard for me in school. Um, I had, I don't know if it was a learning disability or what, but school was so extremely hard for me. Um, I got bullied a lot, and that's one of the things I think that kind of shaped me into who I am today. I am extremely shy person. I am very outgoing when I know you or when I'm kind of by myself, like in front of the camera. But when I'm out and about or anything like that, I am extremely, extremely, extremely shy. And a lot of people take that for being a bitch or being rude, but it, I'm not and I'm not. I'm just really, really shy and I don't strike up a conversation really, really easily because I'm just, it's something within myself. I'm just really shy. I moved out of my house when I was 17 years old and I wish I could go back. In 2007, I lost my grandpa and it was probably one of the hardest things that I've ever had to deal with. So if you are going through the loss of a grandparent or anything or someone really close to you, then I totally know how you feel and I feel for you. Growing up, I wasn't the type of child that was like, oh, I want to be this when I grow up, or I want to be that when I grow up. I had no clue what I want to be and I still have no idea. I'm just kind of on YouTube and YouTube is the one thing that I've ever done in my life that I can honestly say that I'm passionate about and I love to do. I've never found anything um, in life that I liked to do this much. I am a beauty school dropout. I went to school and for hair and nails and I love to do it, but it just wasn't really for me. It's not something that I can see myself doing for the rest of my life. But in turn, it did lead me here to YouTube um, in a funny kind of way and I couldn't be more happy what I'm doing now. Jenna Marbles is the very first YouTuber that I ever did watch, um, like continuously, and that's actually why I made a YouTube account because you have to subscribe. In order to subscribe to someone, you have to have a YouTube account, so that's what I did because I wanted to keep up with her because she's hilarious. And Jacqueline Hill is the reason I started doing YouTube videos, and she's the person that I wanted to learn from. So, um, yeah, Jenna and Jacqueline. This year, I will be 27 years old, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's completely scary, and at times, I'm like, oh my gosh, where did the time go? But, it is what it is, and I am happily married, and I absolutely love my life. I got married to my husband when I was 24 years old, and it was just kind of, we knew each other for quite a long time, and it was just kind of a whim, like, hey, let's let's just do this. And we did, and I couldn't be happier, and I love him with all my heart. We got married in Ukiah, California, 
and our honeymoon was in Fort Bragg, California. And if you guys have never been there, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. We literally live like four hours away from there and it's so beautiful. I love, love, love it. I love the ocean. The ocean is my favorite place in the whole entire world, in this whole universe. I would rather be at the ocean, any ocean, it does not matter what ocean, any ocean, and I will be completely happy. I do suffer from anxieties, um, and I didn't used to suffer from it until I started going to school full-time and working full-time. Um, so I was waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to school, and then I wasn't getting home until about mm, 1 or 2. So it was very, very, kind. Of, it was really hard. So... Yeah, that's when my anxiety kind of kicked in and it hasn't went away since. When I was born, I weighed 7 pounds and 7 ounces. I was born with blonde hair and blue eyes. For the first, I say about the first 20 years of my life, I had to go to a heart doctor, a cardiologist every year. Um, once a year, every year, and yeah, that was really scary. Those were probably the scariest appointments that I really... Olive Garden is my favorite restaurant. I could eat there forever. I love it. Braised beef and tortellini, baby, all the way, and their salad, mmm, their salad is bomb. I've been many different hair colors, and I have to say blonde is my favorite on me. That's just my personal opinion. My personal preference is blonde and blondes have more fun. I used to have the biggest anger problems ever in the entire world. The littlest, tiniest things would set me off and I would just get so, so, so mad. That being said, now I channel my anger or any other emotions that aren't pleasant. I channel that into inspiration. I actually have a Facebook page um, and I'll link it below if you ever just need a daily inspiration but I channel that into something more positive. So you can always channel positive things from your negative experiences. I don't care if my socks match. I was born August 24th, 1987. I am a summer baby. I used to have summer pool parties when I was growing up and I mean, those were so much fun. I don't like the winter at all. I if it was summer or warm all year round, I would be perfectly happy with that. I'm deathly, deathly afraid of airplanes. But when I had my open heart surgery, I was actually life flighted on a jet. My first car was a 1997 Nissan Ultima. Love anything glittery or sparkly. Like literally anything, anything, anything glittery, anything sparkly, I love it. Like literally, look at my necklace, bling blingin'. My hair used to be so extremely long and I decided to cut it all off one day. My hair used to be so extremely thick, like oh my gosh you guys, you have no idea, it was so... My hair was beautiful and then I started bleaching it and messing with it and things like that and then it got really thin. So we are on the road to recovery. I'm 100% a daddy's little girl and proud of it. This one's actually really funny because I'm completely sick right now, but I don't get sick. Like. I, out of all the people that get sick, I'm always the one that's never sick. I'm always, I can walk into the room, I can take care of you when you're sick and all that, but I've been sick since before New Year's. My childhood taught me so much about the world, more than most kids I think would ever learn in a lifetime. I cannot stand odd numbers. Everything has to be even. I know it is so weird. At night before I go to sleep, I have to make sure the doors are locked. Like, I can't just look at them and think, okay, they're locked. I have to literally lock them until I hear them click. And even sometimes then I'll have to go do it again. Can you say OCD? My favorite part about the whole entire year, other than summer, is the fact that I get to put up my Christmas tree and my husband has to take it down when I'm not around because I... If it was my choice, I would leave my Christmas tree up all year long. I am a firm believer in God and that there's something out there greater than us. I say my prayers every single night. I've said them since I was 
a little kid. I remember my mom would make me say my prayers before bed. So, so that is it. I'm pretty sure I made it to 50. I just kind of winged this video. Um, but I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you want to see me do anything else, leave it down in the comments and I will be sure to do that for you. Um, like I said, please excuse my voice. I am just so sick and, but I'm getting better. So I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. It means more to me than you could possibly know.